I had a request to do number nine in the chapter five homework. So number nine is talking about oxygen binding and hemoglobin structure. And it's setting up a situation where they're saying that a team of biochemists use genetic engineering to create a new kind of hemoglobin and the version of hemoglobin they make exists primarily as alpha-beta dimers rather than the original tetramer, which is the normal version of hemoglobin that you'd find in living cells like ours. So the question is, do these variants bind oxygen more weakly or more tightly. And so these alpha-beta dimers, you can consider them in two different ways to come up with the answer that they bind more tightly to oxygen. The reason I find most intuitive is that when you have the dimer, you no longer have that central cavity that BPG used to bind. Recall that in deoxyhemoglobin, there's a cavity in the center where BPG can bind. But if you don't have the tetramers, and you just have the dimers, you don't have that cavity anymore. So if you just have two subunits, where is BPG going to bind? It can't. So this is really favoring O2 binding. Because without BPG coming into the picture, you're not going to decrease O2 affinity. Remember, BPG is a negative allosteric modulator of oxygen binding to hemoglobin. Now the other line of reasoning that they give for coming up with this answer is that with just two dimers, you're decreasing the amount of cooperativity happening. So think about it this way. Myoglobin doesn't exhibit any cooperativity because there's only one subunit. It has a very tight binding to O2. Now with just two dimers, when you're decreasing the cooperativity, you're also resulting in more tight binding to O2. So keep in mind, this is a good problem because it makes you think about cooperativity. The first O2 that binds hemoglobin goes on with relatively low affinity, but after that binds, it increases the affinity for the next hemoglobin to come on, and that increases the affinity for the next hemoglobin to come on, and that increases the affinity for the next hemoglobin to go on, so that the fourth, or sorry, the fourth oxygen to go on. Pardon the mistake. So by the time the fourth oxygen comes on, that binds hemoglobin with 300 to 400 times more affinity than that first oxygen. So then O2 number one. So think, if you just have a dimer, the degree of cooperativity is not going to be as high or as extreme. Hopefully this explanation shed a little bit of light on this conceptual problem.